All right, guys, so the day has finally come. Going to do a few more things on Clyde and hopefully fire it up. So let's just get into it. Uh, last night, stayed up to like 4.30 working on all the wiring. So all the wiring is done on the car. I just need to finish hooking up some of the stuff. I got plug wires built. See, here's all the wiring. There's a little cover panel that'll come over and plug it. I need to put some fuses in there. And then I need to fill the radiator with water, make sure that there's no leaks there. It is electric water pump, so probably kick power on. Uh, flip it on something I did on the car uh, a lot of the older cars you usually have an issue because you got to find a key on position um, that works in both the key and start position on this car since the electric water pump I went ahead and put like a little toggle to help uh, just turn on the computer so then I can write tunes and everything to the computer and then the start will still start it um, but I'm not have to run the electric water pump the whole time got the 6L80 shifter in the car as you guys can see it mounted up pretty decent uh still gonna try to run like the factory cover over it so lots of little things starting to come together on it and then over here so i am going to go ahead uh really cool that the psi harness actually had a relay built into it for the fuel pump so i ran a fuel pump power wire back to the back uh and then put an inline fuse the ECU is going to sit underneath the passenger seat, so I still need to put that in here and plug it in once everything else is uh, tied together and done. Uh, that's the pedal for the, this is the throttle pedal cable. Got that plugged into the throttle pedal, and then here's the OBD2 that I will use, like my computer with HP tuners and scanner to uh, watch. Uh, a couple of the little wires, I just haven't completely heat shrunk or anything. I want to make sure that everything works. Um, hopefully everything is good. And then in the back, finished up the wiring. Um, here's the fuel pump wire. I'll get it all tied up and everything. So I kind of want to leave all the wires down and visible just in case when I hit the power that uh, there's no sparks or smoke or anything like that, that there wasn't a weird ground. But uh, the wiring in the car is relatively simple. It's just what you think is going to take you like three hours to do wiring takes you three days. So there's just a lot to it, uh, a lot of little things, a lot of connectors and wiring and tapping into the factory harness and figuring out where to pull like ignition on or the crank um, also things like on this trying to make sure that i have the neutral safety switch hooked up so it passes tech at the track and all of that stuff but i am going to go ahead and start tidying up everything hopefully get some fluids in it and maybe we can start this thing today so i tightened up all the electrical lines we put trans fluid in put rear end fluid in and now i got a little leak right here out of the water pump. So I need to uh, work on this fitting and try to get it tightened up. I don't know if it's coming from here or out by the pump, but uh, work on it and get it out. And uh, it might be coming out right there. So I might even have to just readjust this and re-crack it down and maybe it'll tighten up then. So, so far, not too bad, but a couple little things that we gotta take care of before we can fire it. All right, so got the computer fired up. Hopefully everything's good on the engine. Got some fuel in it. Uh, Got to hopefully prime the fuel through there. So gonna have to cycle the key a few, time, few times to prime the fuel pump and then also the water pump. Uh, set the level of the water pump and then hopefully get a fire it up here in a second. Still got a little bit of junk in it, but it's definitely prime the fuel. <laughs> Tie on here. I'll, um, let's raise the lift up a little bit we'll look under and see if we can see what the fuel pressure is when i prime it like that when i click it and then we'll try to set it to i think uh i don't know 58 to 75 we'll just shoot somewhere in there and then i can always put it that later yeah we just go up a little ways and then i can get under there and see what it does Oh, it's reading the computer. That's a good sign. There you go. 84 kPa. Throttle position at 32.9%. So it's reading there. Reads a little bit. I'm gonna have to figure out how to set that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna look over some numbers and we'll make sure. It looks like O2 sensors have voltage. Coolant temp's working at 73 degrees. Intake air temp 82. That's probably close to ambient right now. Um, that might be a little warm, but shop's pretty warm right now. Just looking over some stuff. So, 2015 Silverado 53. So, has some information in there. 
Cool. Well, I'm going to check a few more things and then hopefully try to fire it. Definitely don't stand here to read it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to get all the way under the car. He wants that creeper? Does it have anything in it right now? About 18. <laughs> About 18. Hand me that. Hand me that flashlight. Yeah. It doesn't work when it's not plugged it's in. Like I screwed it only in a little bit. So let me switch it again and see what you're seeing. And if it stays at 18, we'll... Uh, right there, it just stopped at 32. When you cut it, keep back off. Climbing when the pump was climbing, and we would have a fire extinguisher in this joint. Three yeah, of them. got three of them somewhere. Um, so I can't go over and prime it anymore. I don't know if I got it. What got it? Flashlight right here. <laughs> well, safety first. All the fire extinguishers, just in case there's an electrical issue. <laughs> What's it at now? 60. 60? Yeah, drop down to, well, it's still dropping some. Okay. Slowly. So it might be close. I might just have to fire it and see what it does. And, well, I'm going to try to cycle it one more time. I can hear the electric throttle body humming. All right. Um, I guess let's just leave it at that. If it climbed to 60, at least it's got somewhere close to that. Um, I don't know. I don't know how long it takes in between times of cycling it that you can prime it. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, the pressure's slowly going down. So, I guess but it went up. It kind of max. It kind of went up, hit sixty, and then it chilling there, and then it's coming down from sixty. Yeah. As soon as you turn the key off, it dropped from sixty to about. 28 did it seem to like slowly just max out at 60 or was it just still climbing it was still still climbing yeah. I wonder if we should back it down a hair probably just wait another few seconds and see if, it'll, if we can get anything above 60. Yeah. i don't know how long in between cycles and then it'll... Still up there? 60. Okay. Hit and it drops as soon as you turn the key on. It'll run at 60. That's perfect. That's good enough to start. Um, you got oil in it? So I need to click the key and then, yeah, I got oil there. We have seven quarts in the tranny, which we're supposed to fill it as it's running, but we'll just have to check some stuff and I might have to add some more after. It'll be, it's like a few quarts low, but we're not trying to drive. Or anything, so yeah, we still got we maxed it out. What did it take? And then it's gonna suck it into the engine. Then you gotta do that stupid control procedure. So now I'm gonna hit the key, and uh, it should cycle the water pump, okay? And uh, see if it pushes water through there. It's leaking a little bit. Where the I don't know. I have it under the pump. Since we've been back, is it oh, little drips here and there, but nothing. Like dramatic. All right, ready? Yeah. We'll get a bath. Well, I found a wire that works. So now we got a water pump. Let's see how much water it pulled. Maybe we can top it off. Let's try to start this thing. What's that? So the water level actually rose in the radiator. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to pulls it down pretty good. Okay, I'll just click it on and we'll run it and we'll see where we're at. Maybe it's cap on it. I just want to make sure it has water in the block and everything.
Ready? So some reason, whenever I was checking wires yesterday, we had power at key on, which will run the water pump and accessories and everything, and I had no power at that distribution block. So we just found a new source, tied into that. I got an ugly wire sticking across here, but hopefully that'll work. Uh, it's working now, so if we can get the car running like this, then I can mess with that wire later. Okay. All right, here we go. Ignition on, fuel pump pressure. Cord. Start logging so I can make sure that I have water temperature and oil pressure up on here. Engine oil pressure is zero right now. Hopefully that'll pop up. Timing advance. And I don't think with a brand new ECU there's anything like a, a throttle TPS set or anything, but there might be. So it might not start. It might. All right. Cross our fingers and fires. Holy cow, I'm so excited. There's still some stuff to do, but this is, it's like, finally broke the hill, I think. Uh, all major, hopefully, issues are clear. Um, still got all the fun stuff to do now. Drive it, enjoy it, work on it, play with it, break it, fix it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this thing's running, so how fun is that? I'm gonna pull the tune out of the thing, um, try to adjust the fans to make sure it's all working. Uh, everything seems to be doing decent even without the fans running a state like 189 degrees so not too bad shout out to Alex this guy has been huge help been here so much I, I appreciate it man no <laughs> uh, four o'clock in the morning 11 at night one in the morning two in the afternoon he was here helping so uh, just giving me an extra hand when I needed it but I want to say everybody thank you for watching the videos can't wait to show you guys so much more of this car can't wait to upgrade it and try to go faster have april drive it race it take it on race week and go do 1300 miles in this thing uh it's gonna be a fun time so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you guys next time